Sammy Lou Hill. Today I'm going to show you how to do a lemon tree, but I'm going to put it in like a little countryside setting. I love apples, lemons, <laughs> orange trees, love bananas as well. I'm just thinking they're obviously trees. You know, sometimes you think some things aren't trees. So if you think about pineapple, they tend to be growing slightly differently. But anyway, so my mum gave me this and I'm looking after it. Thank you, mummy. <laughs> I'm looking after it as best I can. I'm trying to keep it alive. It's the lemon tree. It's a fly as well. It's a lemon tree. There's two of them. I, um, my mum planted, well, I planted some, but mine didn't survive. But bef like during the lockdown, my mum planted it was two little seeds. So if you have an orange or an apple, eh, if you have an orange or a lemon, you can put them in the soil, ask your parents about where to put them. And they just, you watch them grow slowly, like it's the most coolest thing. Like I just love seeing them grow, so nice. And they can get to like huge, so when you're 20 or 30, it becomes a tree. How cool is that? So anyway, I wanted to show you the wasp that I did the other day. Really, do you know what, I found that kind of easy to do, I was quite surprised. Then, ta -da! I thought I'd try something a bit different. So it's a lemon with its rind. It's okay, it's not my favourite that I've done, but it was quite fun to give it a go. And then I've turned this painting into a greeting card of mine. So it's just a lemon in a bowl. So it's lemons in bowls. Lemons in a bowl. <laughs> okay, let's go today. So, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start off with our lemon tree. Just wanted to show you my favourite teddy. <laughs> I'm showing you this because the other day I did a private lesson for a little girl and she drew her favourite teddy. So if you want to draw your favourite teddy or a cartoon or something, let me know and I will do that for you. So, let's go. Right, what you want to do? Pencil, and then paper. And you want to just start... Start here, somewhere here, and you're going to go up. Up, 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 up. And if it's wobbly, awesome. It's really cool. And you want almost like a line that goes like that rather than straight up. So you want to start about here and go up. So think about a tree growing. They normally start off quite big, as in chunky at the bottom, the trunk. And then it goes up and up and up. And it gets smaller as it goes up. And now you want to do the top of the tree. So think about the branches. So you want to go touch that bit there. And you're going to go... Da -da -da. And then... Then another one. Da, da, da. Oh. This is like a cartoon basic tree. It's not a realistic tree. Um, but it's kind of nice to draw this if you've got homework or if you've got a project where you have to do a tree. Yeah. And then you can do another one. When I was small with my sister, we used to always play in the apple tree. It was such a cool tree. It was really big and gnarly. Like it was, oh man, I keep dropping everything had all bits everywhere and it was just such a cool tree to climb. You've got to be super careful when you climb a tree because it might not be sturdy, so you've got to check. Now, with this tree, the the um, num, 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 uh, trunk, I keep forgetting, the trunk would probably be thinner if it's um, a fruit tree, but we're just going to do a, a nice chunky tree with just lines on it. So think about how it's the texture of a fruit tree tends to be quite knobbly so it tends to have um, different knobbly bits on the on the on the trunk now what we want to do is create some lemons so I draw my lemons like this I'm gonna do massive lemons so this is kind of I suppose I'd call it a cartoony tree because it wouldn't be realistic but it's kind of fun to draw so I'm just doing, if you count how many I've done, roughly that many, nice and big. You do not need to do them too small, because I like to do them like this. I think it's nice to do them like this, because then you can see them better. So at the moment they look like leaves, <laughs> but we're going to make them look like lemons. kind of want to move it in there. Okay, that's pretty cool actually, I should have had that before. How are you getting on? How are you getting on? Right, okay, let's go. So lemons, if you think about a lemon, they've got these bits each side. Do not worry. 
how you do them and you can do them inside inside the shape it's okay and what I do is kind of have them dotted around so it's like a U shape and a rainbow U shape rainbow U shape no right U shape rainbow U shape rainbow U shape so there's your lemons we're going to color them in yellow and make them look cool now because it's in a tree we're going to do the outline of the tree going to keep it simple simple is best right now so just touch about there and you're going to just however you decide you want to do it you're doing a wobbly line so you can do it however you like the more wobbly and the more bits you've got like the more bobbly bits you've got the more it looks like a tree so I'm just doing however I feel so I've gone about there like if I just didn't do these little bits, it would look a bit strange. I love doing this. I find it just really relaxing. So I've got all these bits. Now some people like to just do a tree where they've got like that and then they just go round. Or some people quite like a tree and then you just kind of do that. But I kind of think it looks better when you really put a lot of bobbly bits on it. It just kind of looks cool. Now, it probably looks like an oak tree, but do not worry, because remember, it's not a realistic tree. It's just a tree with fruit on. <laughs> okay. Now, what I want to do is it's in a field. Like, it's a way... It would be like an, a lemon orchard, but that's not really probably the correct name, because apple orchard would be. So, we're going to do a line. Yeah. Another line. Yeah. And then when you get to the tree, just float over. Take your... You're going to press down to draw a line, and then pick your pencil up but keep drawing in the air then go across it's a really good way of drawing a line uh, okay then what we want to do is do this fence that my mum loves and it's a white picket fence so you do triangles it's quite tricky to draw because it's right at the bottom of my page you could do quite a few of them if you like Ah. okay now these are the bits of the fence that go up so all you have to do is literally just draw them like that if you like there's probably more to the fence because you've got another line there but I kind of don't want to add it just kind of like it like that what's awesome about art when you're doing it is you can decide how you want it to look so if you thought nah I don't want to put a fence there then don't so it's quite nice to choose. Now we've got some hills. I quite like just hills, just wobbly lines, wobbly lines. Now what I want to do on that line of the hill is I want to do, these are my little chunky monkey sheep. I'm just going to do some legs just, just to make it look like it's an animal and not a raisin. So if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm kind of doing this. I'm doing that for the sheep, maybe some legs and a head. Because from it, it wouldn't look like this, but from a distance, it kind of does look like a sheep. Um, because it's so in the distance, it's fine. Then what I want to do is do a little bit of bush. Wow. Looks quite cool when you've got like a tree or a bit of an outline of a bush. It doesn't have to be neat. The awesome thing about this is you do not need to be neat. Well not too colouring. Then let's do some more hills, like a little bit more. And then you can fly over, go like that. Maybe just go like that. Okay, so that is my finished picture, but I'm gonna colour it in. I'm gonna do a couple of birds together. Just kinda like the idea, if I'm honest. Bit of birds there. Hmm, do I wanna do anything there? kind of feel like I'm going to do this because it's going to be another tree next to it but it's out of the picture so you can't see so you'll know that oh, I'll do a little bit there so what it would be in real life is lots of rows of lemon trees I'm actually really liking that because it reminds me of France where my mum is from okay let's go I'm going to use oil pastels because I haven't used them a lot so they're these well, actually, they don't have to be these. 
these are pretty good so any of these is fine I quite like that probably my favorite so if you're using chalk awesome you don't have to use oil pastel and if you're using paint great so I'm gonna get my bright yellow because I want to do the lightest color first I'm gonna get my bright yellow I'm gonna color all the lemons in my bright yellow and the good thing about this is it's so bright it just looks cool oh. and if you think about lemons actually thought I, I wouldn't mind a lemon a lemon tea at the moment now <laughs> talk me about lemons that makes me feel hungry can you see how bright it is like it's really lovely and bright takes longer to do oil pastel sorry I've got an itchy nose again so what I need you to do is try to be neat because I've just gone over the line <laughs> now what you can do is get an orange so pause the video if I'm being too quick we've got a lot to color in today so orange now I like to just outline those wobbly bits so outline with an orange the rainbow the u-shape and half of the lemon you could do the whole lemon really if I'm honest but you're doing this because yours is going to be pencil lines and you want to make sure they stand out it takes a long time but you know what normally when things take a long time it's worth it okay right then you just smudge a little bit if you can't do this you can just leave it as it is I would say because oh I've missed one because you're doing it in pencil I would say go around all of the lemon in orange and then just smudge around like that as if you're drawing a circle in your lemon I think I might use chalk and oil pastel for this one and as I say if you've only got chalk just use chalk brown I'm gonna take two browns I've got a real dark one and an orangey one like a brick now I'm gonna do this I'm gonna outline the tree and I like to do it dark because against the landscape of the fields and everything down here that's gonna be light oh, it always reminds me of melted chocolate this does so can you see I'm doing the lines in dark so if you've got paint you can do it with your paint then I'm gonna take this awesome like color that looks a bit like what does it look like it looks like chocolate as well doesn't it yummy so I'm coloring in between you could always color the whole thing in that one first and then do the dark lines on top if you want but I'm just gonna show you my way it's nice to do most things your way so if you learn how to do it and then think mm, does that work for me if not I'll do it my way you know because you don't have to always do it the way people tell you to unless it's specifically for that material or that project or whatever now I'm smudging it with my one little finger so there's my tree I love not finishing it at the bottom I just think it looks kind of cool okay now we're gonna get for some reason I would like this green and I think it's because it's so light I really like it so I'm gonna, I could do this with chalk really. I think it would actually look better with chalk. But I've only just started now, so I'm gonna have to finish. <laughs> so what you're doing is you're doing a real chunky monkey. Chunky, chunky line all the way round. When I say chunky monkey, I think of those delicious sweets. Oh, so good. I had some sweets yesterday. And they were so good I couldn't stop and I had to because I would have eaten the whole packet but they were Percy pigs oh they're so good okay. oh okay are you with me say yes okay right so Oil pastel definitely is more energy on your fingers <laughs> and on your wrist. So chalk, I would recommend. But saying that, oil pastel is very 
vibrant. It looks awesome, the colours. I'm going around the brown tree now just to highlight. And what you're going to do is you're literally going to smudge this in. If you can't smudge it in, you want to just colour as much as you can green without going over my lemons. Oh man. Okay, you can get a rubber by the way if you go over it. So if you go over it by accident, you can get a rubber and rub it out. Right, as much as I can, I'm going to smudge. Although my finger might fall off. You want to change fingers really. The reason why you're smudging is you want most of it to be light inside. So you want light green inside here and dark green around the edge. And if you don't want to smudge, you could just colour it in dark green and then the rest of it a light green if you want. But I like giving myself a challenge <laughs> and smudging everything. Whew. It's just quite tiring. <laughs> but it, do you know what? It looks good. <laughs> keep having to remember it's gonna look good so I would say this probably is gonna take you quite a while to do but I'm gonna stop there because I think that's roughly what I'm going for quite like it if I'm honest so then I'm gonna do the rest in pass in chalk pastel otherwise we're gonna be here for a while so what I want to do is I want to do like a lightish like a really light color probably do you know what I might do yellow because I'm going to do yellow for some of the hills. Really nice to do a, a bright colour. And then I'm going to do green for some of the hills. But it's going to be a light green. Then I might do another yellow again. Let's do the yellows. Because what you want is you want a light background. Don't do a dark background because it might not show up very well. Now I'm going to get a light blue and I'm just going to do, you could do this with paint, you could do this with oil pastel but it would take me a while. Oh, I always drop my pastels. Just da -da 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 -da. So you could add whatever you like in this picture. You could have an orange tree, you could have an apple tree. It could be any tree, it could be a cherry tree, it would be really cool. Um, you could do anything you like with that tree. It doesn't have to be a, a, um, a lemon tree. I just love lemon trees. I'm just doing the other tree on the side if you've drawn that. And I'll do that one just so it makes sense. Quite like that tree, quite like that. Right, what I'm going to do now is get some chalk, but it's going to be a darker green. And the reason why it's dark is because I want to outline the bush, just so it looks like it's the background. And I'm going to put a line there, so colour the bush in, dark green. I might do a little line going out. So colour the bush. And then a little line going out. Oh, it's very itchy using chalk for some reason. <laughs> I want to itch my nose. I want it all over my face. So we've got one little... Let's colour that yellow. I forgot about that little field, didn't I? The sheep have turned yellow, but that's okay. Now I'm going to smudge. Because this is oil, it will be great. Because it doesn't actually match if you smudged over the oil. You probably wouldn't see it much. And you could rub it out, so... You can be less kind of careful now. Now I wanted my smudge everything basically, like blend. Now I want my in here to be white, but I don't know how I'm going to make that look nice. But I do want a white fence really. So what I might do then is in between each white post, I could do a yellow because it's the background of the field. You could do any fence. You, you could leave the fence as well if you like. I don't know why, but I'm really itching my phone. I think when you start using chalks and something, and then you want to itch your face, that's when you get super messy. 
Right, I now I want my, I really do want my fence to be white so I could keep it like that and I could rub out what's in between the fence. So I'll probably rub out that line. So get a rubber and you can rub out whatever line you think is going to look better to rub out. Yeah, I'd probably rub out that line actually, it looks quite cool. So you rub out, I'm not doing it neat, but you get the idea. La, 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 la. There we go. That. Oh, I like that. So yeah, ultimately you can add whatever you like, just make sure it's a tree that you want to do. So if you want an orange tree, a ban banana tree looks very different from these. But yeah. If you just look at my tree, look at the beautiful green. You could try and match the greens up when you do them. And you could get the sky to be a lot more blue, if you like. So it's really, really vibrant. Now, where I've gone over my sheep, you can get a rubber and you can rub out. So then it's white or you can put white chalk over it or you could put white paint. But because they're in the distance, it doesn't matter too much as long as you know there are different kind of something there. So that is my lemon tree. So let me know how you get on with your tree. Send me a picture. You could put the lemon tree next to a squirrel or a lemon tree next to a badger. You could do a whole forest of all the videos I've done. So yeah, have fun and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.